In this video, you will learn different ways of customizing the looks of the terminal and event. Before you make any cosmetic changes, I strongly suggest creating a separate terminal profile and make the customizations in the new profile. This way, if you mess things up visually, you can always use the default looks from the default profile. Switch to the newly created profile. The first customization is obvious, the dark and light theme variants. If you want to use the dark version all the time irrespective of the system theme, you can do that here. The next customization is font change and it should happen for the new profile you created. You can choose from the available fonts or install new ones on your own. Go for mono fonts to avoid overlapping of letters in the terminal. You can also change the cursor shape and it's blinking that you see when you're not typing anything in the terminal. Next is the text and background colors of the terminal. You can choose any color combination you want, but for most people, sticking with the built-in schemes offering is a better idea. Some people like a more transparent terminal. Feel free to experiment with that. Next change is the host name. That is the name of your computer. When I'm working on Linux handbook tutorials, I change the host names temporarily. You may also make the changes permanent if you do not like the current one that was created for you or well while you are installing your Ubuntu system. Now these were basic changes. The next one is for more advanced users because it involves strange color codes and editing files in the terminal. And not everyone would want to do that or like to do that. So let me show you how you can change your prompt's appearance. So copy this part of the code. This is what you need to focus on. Here you need to know the following. This E is a special character that denotes the start of a color sequence. U indicates the username followed by the attribute symbol. H denotes the host name of the system. W denotes the base directory, A indicates the active directory, and dollar indicates non-root user. What you can do is to change the color and make or make it bold or italic. Before you do that, keep this in mind. Codes for the text format as like 0 for normal text, 1 for bold, 3 for italic, and 4 for underlined text. Color range for background colors are 40 to 47 and color range for the text color is 30 to 37. And as you can see, I made some changes and although it doesn't look good, the prompt color has been changed. Note that these changes are temporary and will be lost when you close the terminal. So if you found your preferred color, you can make the changes permanent by adding the PS1 line in your bash rc file. These were some of the basic ways of terminal customization. If you like fancy looking things by default, maybe you can try fish shell or jet sh jet shell. I hope you liked this video. Stay subscribed for more Linux videos.